I'm awake. I'm awake. That's what I'm telling myself. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to My Tech Burger. My name is Caitlin and I make fashion related videos almost every Friday. Today we're talking about holiday party outfits after a solid two years of hopefully a lack of holiday parties, we can now start to gather. I don't know why I said it like that. Gather. I just want to talk five holiday party outfit ideas today because Usually when you see these videos, it's usually sponsored by a brand, probably a fast fashion brand at that, and it's just a bunch of sparkly mini dresses, which nothing wrong with a sparkly mini dress, but there are so many other options out there for your holiday party outfits and get-ups. So let's get going. These are outfits that I would actually wear to a holiday party if I was invited to one. <sighs> First up, instead of embracing sequins, if that maybe isn't your thing, try to think about other textures that you can combine. And one of my favorite, personally, for the holiday season is velvet. And velvet, not only is it nice and soft and fun, is a really flattering textile for a lot of people. This dress is one I actually purchased for a, hall, a work holiday party, I think maybe, I wanna say three years ago now? Four years ago. But because it has such a classic silhouette, I could pretty much wear this all year round. So this is a midi length on me at least, velvet dress. And it's got a bit of a 1930s sort of empire, almost bias cut in the middle, and it's got some buttons in the front and a nice deep V and some floaty sleeves. It also has a bit of an Angelina Jolie leg slit moment, but because I'm so short, that leg slit wasn't really that bad <laughs> on me. You could barely see it because the dress was a little bit big on me at the time, so it worked. I paired this velvet dress with a pair of velvet heels, and I love the way the look was very simple, but very classic. And what I tend to do when I'm wearing all one texture, so velvet, for example, is to go sort of glam with the jewelry. So in this case, usually I like to mix it up with a really funky shoe if I'm wearing something very basic, but because I kept the shoes basic, I went sort of all out on the sparkly jewels. So I had a sparkly necklace, a ton of rings, and I really went all out with a red lip at the time. And I think velvet is a really great option for the holidays. So this is something that you can get pretty much anywhere in any store nowadays, but I would say that I personally have found a lot of velvet pieces from the 70s and 80s in vintage stores and thrifting nowadays. So if you're looking for a way to shop velvet a little bit more sustainably, definitely check out the vintage stores near you because the 80s loved a suede and velvet moment. So something to keep in mind. I love velvet. <laughs> I really do. Although when I wear velvet outfits, I tend to just sort of, you know, you just like the feeling of velvet. So you kind of just go like, ooh, no, just me. Okay. <laughs> so when we think holiday dresses, a lot of the time, I anyway, gravitate to, you know, the statement dress. You have to have sequins or sparkles or a lot of texture on a dress. But actually, what's really fun is to think about how you might actually be able to layer your pieces as well and make one dress that you've worn before look completely new by layering it in a different way. So this dress, I've worn many times. I actually wore it to my rehearsal dinner for my wedding, just as is. But I think what's really great about this dress is that you can put things over top of it to change it up a little bit. So if you have an old dress that maybe you've worn for previous parties, but it's a little bit understated, consider mixing it up with a top like this of a completely different texture, or you could add a completely different jacket on top. And because it's relatively cold, at least where I am around the holidays, you can also have an outer jacket, but then your lighter jacket can be part of the ensemble. 
for the evening. So if you have a really fun sparkly jacket, for example, or a really sparkly cardigan, you can throw that over or under a dress that you've worn before and make it completely new. This is a great way to just make use of what you already have in your closet and like me, try to avoid the habit of buying a new outfit for every fancy occasion. We don't really need to do that. <laughs> and if you want to consume a little bit more sustainably, try shopping your own closet first, mixing and matching to see what you can pair up. And again, the next couple of examples aren't so much dresses as they are skirts and tops. And you can get pretty creative with how you make this work. So I've, done, I've gone for a leather skirt here with a silk top and some tights and tights are really where you can get sort of creative. So I know there are a lot of patterns, polka dots are my favorite in particular, but you can really uh, go for an opaque tight with something like this, a nice pair of boots or a pair of heels and really bring the look together with, again, another jacket or just your jewelry. So this look is fairly simple, pretty classic, but when you add some festive jewelry or even just some extra sparkle here and there in the shoe, or in another accessory or a bag, for example, you can really glam it up um, with your makeup too. So definitely go for a little bit more of an unorthodox combo. Just see what happens, play dress up a little bit. This is also uh, another combo that I really like. I think it's just all about making use of interesting texture. So if you're going to go with all one color, it's really nice within that one color palette to think about the texture. So there's a lot of sort of leather, silky things <laughs> going on in, in this outfit. So I think it's really just important to mix and match and experiment. Or if you want to go classic and have those more Christmassy colors, if Christmas is what you're celebrating for the holidays, then you can go with a classic red or green. And I've gone for my green dress here with a little tiny Christmas wreath pin that my mother-in-law got for me and a red lip. And I think this combo is really fun for the holidays. I personally am a very vivacious Christmas person because <laughs> that's personally what I celebrate. So I tend to go for a lot of reds and greens and I really like for a holiday party going a bit more colorful now and then because I think it's just fun. Or including the colors of whatever holiday that you personally are celebrating. Normally, you know, we wouldn't put those colors together necessarily, but around the holidays, it's a lot of fun. So going for another skirt and shirt combo here, I think that this skirt on its own is actually pretty casual <laughs> or business casual. So this would be for more of a casual, maybe work holiday party or a family get together. But you can also glam this up just a little bit by pairing it with a different top, by pairing it with a pair of heels and glamming up the hair a little bit and the makeup and the jewelry. But I think this skirt in particular, a longer midi skirt is also not only a little bit warmer than a mini dress, for example, but it's also just really fun to swoosh. We love a good swoosh on my tech wardrobe. But you can do this with any midi length skirt that you have. This skirt comes with a belt, but you could even put like a sparkly belt on top of it, which would look pretty cool. And if that belt happened to match the color of the shirt, I think that would also look really good. So kind of up to you how you want to make that happen. And up last, this is a blazer dress that I wore to a holiday party, I think in 20, I wanna say 2018, but I don't remember because time has no meaning anymore. <laughs> But it's a really fun blazer dress. I think though what you can do to make it a little bit more holiday appropriate is add something like a bejeweled heel like this, or you could even experiment with putting layers under the dress to make it a little bit more festive. I've gone for some green under this one. I've gone for also a little bit of sparkle. So it's really up to you how you want to, like I said, layer your current dresses to make them work. 
I should say, maybe this is an unpopular opinion, but for me, holidays are all about the accessories. I've got green velvet scrunchies, I've got sparkly bags, I've got a million shades of red lipstick, so I want to make use of them. <laughs> and for me, going with maybe an all black or a partially black outfit, and really colorful sparkly accessories is a really fun way to go. That's how I personally approach most holiday parties, but I am a sucker for a good red and green combo. What can I say? Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna follow along with all of my holiday outfits this year, feel free to follow me over on My Tech Wardrobe on Instagram and stay tuned to my YouTube channel every Friday because I'm going to be posting more winter relevant videos in the next few weeks. So stay tuned. And don't forget to subscribe if you liked it. And if you didn't like it, subscribe anyway because it might be different next time. Bye. Also, we just got a puppy. So if you notice some new bags under my eyes. Oh my God, ow. Ah! That's why. I feel like it's important that you know that this is a mince pie.